Taizong city government is pouring resources into smart farming in an effort to attract more young farmers to the area. The city is working with farmers associations to spread smart agriculture and mentor new farmers in high-tech skills. The sensors in the screen house detect a gradual increase in sunlight. In response, the sunroof extends to shade the plants. Plastic structure cultivation is the trend now, that is to say, greenhouses and netted enclosures, because now they all have microclimate sensors inside, which detect the humidity or the concentration of carbon dioxide. More conventional farming techniques require labor-intensive fertilizer and pesticide application. Now, a drone handles everything. Taizhou city government wants to encourage young people to come back to the land and take up farming. Their Young Farmers Mentoring Scheme teaches smart agricultural skills, helping young farmers integrate automated irrigation and other AI farm technology. We're training young farmers through a 120-hour training course and a 120-hour farm internship. And we're bringing in AI agriculture and smart farming to improve the efficiency of farm management. The city's Agriculture Bureau is working with farmers associations to educate young farmers through lectures and young farmers clubs. When they meet challenges on the farm, they can fast get support, input and advice from their peers. We formed a young farmers club in Waipu Township. When we have larger scale news, we contact the young farmers online. We can even hold a lecture class to give farmers the latest info on smaller questions around technology, seed growing, fertilizers or crops. The program doesn't just teach farming skills. They also teach young farmers how to set up online platforms and diversify their retail avenues. He invites lots of lecturers to come speak on the marketing aspect. Especially these days, the digital retail market is really big, unlike traditional marketing methods. Taizhou is pouring resources into its mentoring programs, offering training, subsidies for farm management and even small business loans in an effort to revitalize its agricultural economy.